Okay, this bathroom in, in Gwinnett County is a very, very small bathroom. This is typical hall size bathroom where you have vanity, toilet, and tub, and probably about 20, 25 square feet of tile. Although this isn't real tile, this is that sticky, sticky tile that people just sit on. This is concrete floor in this case. Um, so it looks nice, but you know, it's not real. Um, what we're going to do in here is build a shower to take the place of the tub. I love doing, rare occasion that I do these, but I love doing them because nobody really takes a bathtub anymore. I mean, takes a bath. Um, normally houses have two bathrooms. In this case, they have a second bathroom, so they'll keep that tub intact. Um, but there are two reasons why I like getting rid of these. One is because fiberglass shower enclosure, which I can't stand when they get stained in the bottom or if they crack, then they're done. Um, so I don't like them to begin with. I like tile and that's what we're going to do here. We've got some porcelain tile we're going to put on the walls, new shower fixture that go in the middle, and we're going to take the tile all the way up to the ceiling and it's going to look really nice and it's going to be a shower. So I'm going to end up building a curb along here and this is five foot from side to side so it's going to be five foot by almost three foot shower which is really cool and then eventually some slider doors will go here um, and then get rid of the toilet and vanity and put new toilet and vanity in that's going to be smaller hopefully give some more room to this um, so I don't have a chance to do these small showers very often but um, I like doing them because it really does increase the value of the house even though in this case it's a retirement home um, for the customer when you have something that looks nice walking in that it's a walk-in shower even in a small house like this then people really like that to be able to have a nice tile shower rather than have this plastic stuff which I never like so um, this is day one and I'm going to get started on the demo which is relatively easy I got to cut up all this stuff and take the toilet and vanity out take the sticky stuff up and the demo is pretty easy and then I can get started on uh, building a real bathroom. Okay, I am done with this bathroom. Um, same point of view coming in. I didn't take the middle part because the middle part is what I actually do the build, build up uh, to the finished product and since I'm not really trying to teach people how to do stuff but just the difference between before and after, that's the reason that I'm, I'm just doing the after. Um, Yes. So uh, we came in with this um, porcelain tile and I put transition strip in. I think apparently the customer is going to get some bamboo flooring which is usually about three quarters and that will be about flush with this transition strip. Um, you know, swear. We uh, change out the vanity. Obviously, brand new vanity. And it looks much nicer, and I guess she's going to put a hanging mirror here eventually. Change out the toilet, brand new toilet. Um, put baseboard and quarter round down there, same as the other side. Um, actually, a larger baseboard because of the trim that I took off before was not going to work if I used the three inch, so I believe that's four, four and a quarter. But anyway, um, we got that. Now, this is where the plastic shower, fiber by shower, used to be and I just made it a shower. Um, the drain situation is such that I couldn't really go out too far. The, the square inside, this is a concrete slab if you remember, the square that they cut out for the drain um, is just enough that I could get about two more inches to come out. Otherwise I would have had gone six inches into the concrete to get the drain center, which is why the drain's not center, because that wasn't going to go six inches into the concrete to knock that out. Um, but we're probably about Mm, nine inches, nine, ten inches off the wall, so that's not too bad. Which basically meant that I had to slope all my tile going this direction down here and do a very quick slope down there. Although the slope isn't really that profound, it is enough for a nice drain, um, you know, for the water to drain off. Um, on the curb, it is slanted inward about 25 degrees or so. Um, assuming that she gets uh, the frameless door, which everybody likes, the frameless door would go here, about 24, 28 inch door, and then a panel over here. Um, so I always do those at a slope with that assumption in mind. But even if they did some slider doors from Home Depot or Lowe's, um, you always want that slope so the water goes off nicely. And uh, we did this a brick pattern. As you can tell, it's kind of staggered. 
Um, she really likes the different um, coloration and stuff like that of this tile. To me, it's a little bit busy, but you know, it's not for me. Change out the fixture, put a new shower head in, and uh, took the tile all the way up to the ceiling. And fortunately, they had some bull nose that matched this tile, so I was able to trim out right off to the curb on both sides with the bull nose all the way up to the ceiling. And um, it's a much better looking shower than it was before, that's for sure. So, whether it's for the homeowner or resale, this is the way to go. Those plastic enclosures really, really suck. I don't like them at all. So this was a pleasure to do, if nothing else, you know, to update. And uh, I'm done. So I'm moving on to the next job.